According to the CDC, people between the ages of 65 and 74 are five times more likely to be hospitalized and 90 times more likely to die than those 18 to 29. That puts 74 year old President Trump in a vulnerable situation when it comes to fighting off this virus. Caroline Collins spoke with a local doctor who is weighing in on some of these factors. It's a great thing to wear a mask. 74 years old and based on his body mass index, clinically obese. Two factors Dr. James Kravick says can worsen the effects of COVID-19. But without knowing more about the president's medical history, it's difficult to predict what the course of the virus will be like for him. We're still early in the studies of seeing what complications based on, on gender, race, age, and other, other uh, risk factors and risk groups that people are in. He says people with conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, and other pre-existing conditions are more at risk for complications if they contract COVID-19. The president, though, has reported that he is in good health. But how sick he could become is a guessing game at this point, as the virus is so unpredictable. It's really unknown based on how the infection reacts in each individual person and how the inflammatory cascade in our own bodies reacts. His 50-year-old wife, First Lady Melania Trump, also testing positive, but her age group isn't as of much concern. Moving forward, Kravik says they will probably be monitored closely through their quarantine stint. Yeah, I think any, anyone with a positive uh, COVID test needs to be watched closely and keep an eye for symptoms. Kravik hopes this serves as a reminder for the people here in our valley and across the country. Masks are helpful and important to wear. Social distancing is important to practice. And uh, we can get through this, but we have to continue to take, take these steps and not let our guard down. With more local news, I'm Caroline Collins.